Have you ever noticed that ChatGPT starts strong but gets progressively worse the longer you try to talk to it? Like, it completely forgets what you were talking about or makes assumptions that make absolutely no sense. I have no idea what the f I'm talking about. There are a few reasons why AI models struggle with conversations, and once you understand them, so many frustrating ChatGPT experiences start to make sense to you. A recent study showed that AI models can lose up to 40% of their accuracy just from having two turns in a normal back and forth conversation. We're talking about going from 90% accuracy to 60% accuracy just because you didn't give it everything in one perfect prompt. Here's what's happening. All those impressive AI benchmarks that companies use to predict how well their models will perform, they test by giving the AI one perfect complete instruction and measuring the response. But that's not how you actually use ChatGPT, right? In real life, you start with something vague like, help me write code, then you clarify, actually make it Python, then, oh, wait, it needs to connect to a database, and so on. You're building up the requirements piece by piece, just like a normal conversation. You're brainstorming and you're working through it as an AI sidekick. But here's the problem. These models weren't really optimized for that kind of interaction. They were trained and tested on single complete instructions. So when you don't use them the way that they were actually designed to be used, their performance completely tanks. So how do they actually test this? The researchers took normal AI tasks from popular benchmarks and broke them down into conversational pieces they called shards. Think of it like taking a recipe and instead of giving all the ingredients and steps at once, you reveal them piece by piece. For example, instead of saying write a Python function that calculates compound interest using these specific formulas and return the results formatted as currency, they'd break it into pieces like write a Python function, it should calculate compound interest, use the specific formula. They didn't just randomly chop up the instructions though, they had other AI models carefully split the tasks into logical pieces, rephrase them to sound more conversational, then double check that nothing important got lost in translation. And this was a massive test by the way, they ran over 200,000 fake conversations using over 15 different AI models on six different types of tasks. Everything from writing code to summarizing documents to solving math problems. The key thing they measured was pretty simple though, how accurate were the models when they got the full recipe at once versus when they had to piece it together ingredient by ingredient? And the results were consistent across almost every model they tested. Let's look at some numbers because the results were kind of brutal. Even the best models, we're talking GPT-4, Claw, Gemini, lost about 40% of their accuracy on average. Some dropped even more. And this wasn't with incredibly long conversations either. Sometimes just two or three back and forths was enough to throw them off off track. And they were able to correlate this to the amount of turns very clearly because when they put all those conversational pieces back together into one prompt, the model performed fine again. So it's not that the information was unclear, it's specifically the conversational format that breaks them. Now, there are a few reasons why AI models struggle with conversations, and once you understand them, so many frustrating ChatGPT experiences start to make sense to you. First, they're impatient. Models try to answer before they have all of the information. It's like if you asked someone to cook dinner and they immediately started making pasta before you mentioned you're gluten-free. Once they locked on to that initial wrong direction, it's really hard for AI models to course correct. Second is that they don't let go of bad ideas. As you give them more information, instead of saying, oh, I was completely wrong about that first part, they try to incorporate it into everything. So you end up with these bloated responses that try to satisfy both their original wrong assumption and your new requirements. Third, they lose track of earlier parts of conversations very easily. You know that thing when you scroll up in a long chat and think, wait, when did we start talking about this? Models have the same problem, except worse. So what can you do about it as an AI user or a developer? The single best piece of advice from this research is when your conversation starts going sideways, don't try to fix it just start over. I know it feels wasteful to abandon a long conversation, but think about it. If the model is operating at 60% accuracy instead of 90%, you're wasting more time trying to fix it than you'd spend starting fresh. When you start that new conversation, front load it with that context, instead of gradually revealing what you want, try to give it as much relevant information as possible up front. I know it really feels unnatural, but it works way better. You can also try the reset trick. Ask the model to summarize everything you've discussed so far, then copy that summary into a fresh chat. It's like giving the conversation a clean slate with all the important context preserved. This research explains so much about why AI sometimes feels inconsistent. When you see those amazing benchmarks showing AI performance at near human levels, please remember those are best case scenarios with 
perfect, complete instructions. The moment you start using AI the way it is actually used as a conversational tool, those benchmark numbers stop being relevant. And we're kind of using AI wrong because we don't fully understand how it actually works and all of the leading AI engineers will tell you the same thing I just said. Anyone who acts like an AI expert, you need to run the opposite direction as far as you possibly can go. The good news is that once you know this, you can work with it instead of against it. So next time ChatPT starts giving you weird responses in a really long conversation, remember, it's not you, it's just the fundamental way these models handle multi-turn interactions. Start fresh, give context up front, and save yourself the frustration. Please chime in, what has been your experience with long AI conversations? Do they tend to get worse over time for you, and have you tried this reset approach, or does it kind of hurt your soul a little bit to start over? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious if this research matches what you've noticed in your own sessions. By the way, if you want to dig deeper into this, there was a fantastic breakdown of this research paper provided by one of the founders of Prompt Hub, so I will link that in the description if you want to understand the numbers a little bit more. And that's it for today. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.